Hello everyone, welcome back to the Info Street channel. In today's video, we are going to walk you through the steps to create an API provider based on ES5 demo system in SAP Integration Suite. But before we dive into the steps, let us quickly recap what an API provider is. In SAP Integration Suite, the API provider is essential for connecting your SAP applications with external systems or services. It acts as a gateway managing the details of API connections such as endpoints, security and communication protocols. By exposing APIs from external systems, the API provider enables seamless data exchange and integration, allowing your SAP applications to interact smoothly with other software. Ok, to get started you will need access to the ES5 demo system which is a public SAP Gateway Demo System provided by SAP. If you don't have an account for ES5 system, you can just use this link to create an account. And apart from this, you need to set up SAP Integration Suite in your BTP account. And you need to assign these user roles to your user. And for this particular demo session, we will be using the GW Sample Basic API with ES5. Okay, so now let me just quickly open the SAP Integration Suite. You need to navigate to the configure, click on APIs. Now we'll go to the API provider, click on create button, enter the name for an API provider. Go to connections, the type would be internet, enter the host. which is SAP ES5 SAP Dev Center dot com port will be 443 now in the catalog service settings we need to add the path prefix let me just quickly add the path prefix here which is SAP OPU OData and the authentication type would be basic you need to enter your username and password that you got uh, while creating an ES5 demo system account After that, click on save. Okay, now test the connection. Okay, so the connection to the system is successful with response code as 200. Now we will go back. Here you can see the API provider. Now we will be creating an API. So this API act as a proxy to the actual resource API. Okay, so we have already created our API provider. Of type internet. Okay, now we will create an API proxy using this API provider. Okay, now we will go to the API proxies here and we will create an API. In the API provider, we will select our API that we have created.
okay now click on discover we will select gw sample basic let me just type it here Now we will add the version as V1. Okay, now we will click on save. And we'll go back here. Okay, now let me just deploy this API proxy. So as you can see the status here, it is deployed. So if you navigate to the resources, you will find various uh, resources. Uh, you can click any one of them. Let me click business partner set. Let me click on execute. So as you can see, you have got the 401 error, which is unauthorized. So the user and password in the API provider is only used to create the API provider, but not for the actual API call of the API. Okay, but we need to test this API. So we'll go to the test and APIs and we'll select our API here. Okay, let me just select the product set here. Okay. Uh, we need to choose the authentication method as basic authentication and we need to enter the credentials of the ES5 demo system. So let me just quickly copy and paste it here. Okay, after that we'll click on send. And see we have got the response and that's it you have successfully created an API provider based on ES5 demo system if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to the info street channel for more recipe integration suite tutorials thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye